Hey, Zach Selwyn here. I just saw this summer's biggest blockbuster, Transformers. And it confirmed two things that I've been saying since the mid-80s. One, yes, giant robots are real. And two, hot chicks dig bitchin' Camaros. This film is about a boy in his car and a girl he's trying to get into. No, don't car. try to flip it for the viewers. Well, you try to make it seem like it's not a Transformers. It's about exploding and robots, crazy robots. Shia LaBeouf is Sam Witwicky, a teenager who suddenly finds himself in an interstellar war when his car turns out to be more than meets the eye. I bought a car, turned out to be an alien robot. There are good robots, which are the Autobots, and there are bad robots, which are the Decepticons. And the Autobots work together with the humans to save Earth. No! It's got a great childlike fable quality to it. There's a real naivete, which is embodied by, by Shire. And it's quite funny, too. My car. It's, it's stole itself, OK? What are you talking about, man? Satan's Camaro in my yard. He's stalking me. If you could turn any personal gadget into a transforming sidekick. What if you had a Norel shaver? You could just be like, do your thing. And just runs from this shoulder to this shoulder, a little man shaving you. Or just, you know, right there on your knee, go to town, go to work. <laughs> Mow it up. Mow it up. Do what you gotta do. Going to town behind the scenes, the wizards at ILM bring these robots to life using a blend of real-life vehicles and digital state-of-the-art special effects that make green screen a thing of the past. To transform these guys, there's a point at which we can't have the real tank or the real car in there. So we have these really gifted artists that come back in, erase the vehicles, and paint the street and the background place back in. Some of those action sequences felt like a roller coaster ride. And then you would breathe and laugh a little bit, then you get back on and you do it again. I wasn't prepared for it to be so artistically brilliant. Ready and action! I thought it was going to be thrilling, but I didn't think it would be thrilling in the way that it is. It's quite. Quite extraordinary, this piece. Also an extraordinary piece is the impossibly hot Megan Fox, who's likely to spark adolescent transformations this summer with her on-screen debut. So listen, I was wondering if I could ride you home. I mean, uh, give you a ride home. Transformers fans are rabid. They're like Star Trek fans. Do you think this film could be another franchise in the making? Yeah, definitely. It has that potential. I mean, the ending leaves it open to that, but I think there's going to be a demand for it because the movie's so sick. People are going to want to see more. If high-octane hotties and transforming hot rods are just your speed, then buckle up. Transformers delivers action by the truckload. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.